Well, now that you found your apartment and you got your furniture, it's time to find the food. Let's take a look. Okay, I got a question on a video I did a few days ago. Are there mercados in Armenia like there are in Cuenca? I've seen several videos about Armenia, but nobody shows a mercado. So what's the story on that? Well, the history of Colombia, the history of Ecuador diverge. And uh, some time ago, Colombia became quite modernized, whereas Ecuador really kind of dragged its feet on that. For many years in Colombia, people have been going to supermarkets to buy their food. There are mercados, but they're more on the lines of farmers markets. That's really what they are. They're farmers markets where people from nearby bring their wares into town and set up a booth outdoors you come through and you can shop there but it's not a fixture it's not something like you're going to find in Cuenca so why is that well in Cuenca that's all you had for a long long time it's only been in recent memory in our lifetime that they've been building on the supermarket chain idea and there's only a couple and they haven't been around that long. They're all relatively new. So what do you have in Armenia? Well, you have supermarkets. So I'll just give you some idea. In Pereira, which is fairly close to Armenia, you have a Price Mart. Now, Price Mart is actually a Costco. And when you go in, it's, it's no different. You can buy things in bulk, and you have a membership card. And Price Mart, here in Colombia, began in 1993 so it goes back a little ways that's seven eight years before I ever came the first time let's look at another chain Olympica Olympica founded 1953 the year I was born that was a long long time ago let me tell you then you have Exodo which is kind of the, I'd say the Walmart of Colombia. I mean, you can buy food, you can buy appliances, pretty much everything. That was founded in 1949. Then you have another chain that's called Karuja that's actually not in Armenia. Uh, but it's, it's a big one in Colombia. It's kind of the high end. But they're tied to a lot of other businesses, including Exodo. When did that supermarket begin? How about 1905? Supermarkets are the way you shop. It's the way you shop. If you live in Rochester, New York, where I used to live, you had a number of different supermarkets. Of course, the king of the hill was Wegmans. A lot of people may have heard of Wegmans. They became very famous. But it started with one store in Rochester, grew, and, and now they're all up and down the East Coast. But they're known as one of the best customer service operations in the entire country of the United States. little plug there. Love Wegmans. There's also a thriving farmer's market in Rochester, New York. Of course, you have six, seven months of winter, so you don't have farmer's markets. But when the crops are out and the weather's nice through the summer and into the fall, you have a farmer's market. We also have a lot of roadside stands. That's as of today. And here in Columbia, it's the same way. You can have a lot of, there are a lot of roadside stands. And you have the local farmers that will bring in their chickens and their vegetables and their fruits and they'll bring it into town for you to buy. They don't have a Mercado the same as you have in Cuenca. Now let me name off some supermarkets or grocery stores of consequence. I don't mean local, I mean these are national chains. You have Olympica, maybe the biggest. Exodo, probably the biggest. Caruja. 
ARA, A-R-A. You've got D1. You've got LACA torsi, or LA14, but it's LACA torsi. Mercaldus. Super Inter. And of course, you've got Price Mart. This is how people shop. You need something, you go to the grocery store. If you don't feel well, then you have them deliver it. A, a reminder, I've said this a number of times, but I think it's a really important thing. Pretty much everything sold in Colombia, you can have delivered to your door. If you want farm fresh chickens, they'll deliver it to your door. You want fruits, vegetables to your door, supermarkets, pizza, medicine, whatever you can buy, you can have it delivered to your door. Now, do you want to have your groceries brought to your door all the time? No. No, that's for emergencies only. And that's because what you can have delivered to your door from the grocery stores is usually limited and you're not picking. Just like in the Mercados in Cuenca, you need to be careful about selecting your fruit. You, anywhere, let's say you have a pile of peaches and you're in Vermont. Some of those peaches are going to be dropped, they're going to be bruised, they're not going to be very nice. If you're picking your peaches, you're going to pick out the good ones, right? Well, it's no different here. If you want peaches or whatever fruit it is that you want, as an example, you're going to pick through that and you're going to pick the best ones. Now, if you have home delivery, somebody else is going to pick it and chances are they're going to pick the ones that they can't really sell in the store. Uh, I've had it happen to me. So, and, and the Mercados, you know, I did a video on Fiera Libre, and they want to pick the fruits and put them in the bag for you. They don't want you doing it because they're always going to sneak in, um, you know, some of the bruised or not so nice. And, you know, one of the problems I always had with Mercaldus and Cuenca is to the point where I actually just stopped going to them was because... 20% of what you would buy, it seemed, ended up in a trash can. Just It just wasn't that good. And so whatever you would save there, um, you didn't really save. I found it actually cheaper just to go to the supermarket, pick my own stuff. I also found a higher level of quality. I found potatoes that I didn't have to scrub for three years because the dirt was like concrete. So it was much better for me to go to a supermarket. But there was a price difference. Now here, there's a slight price difference, but it's not dramatic, and it's not worth the hassle, in my opinion. There's just not that much of a discrepancy. Now occasionally there are some things, and the longer that you live here, the more you're going to find for this, I want to go here, and for that, I want to go there, because not only I'm going to get the best of it, but I'm going to get the best price, and you can sort that out. I'm generalizing, and as a whole, what do people do here? They go to the supermarket. Why is that? Yes, they also go to the farmer's markets but everyone goes to the supermarket and there's reason for it. So that's how you buy your food. This is Lorales Supermercado. It's got a little import corner here. Oh, Nutella. Sandy would be happy.